Do not be proud of wealth, people, relations and friends, or youth. All these are snatched by time in the blink of an eye. Giving up this illusory world, know and attain the supreme. Like the appearance of silver in mother of pearl, the world seems real until the self, the underlying reality, is realized. Each thing tends to move towards its own nature. I always desire happiness which is my true nature. My nature is never a burden to me. Happiness is never a burden to me, while sorrow is. To be free from bondage the wise person must practice discrimination between oneself and the ego self. By that alone you will become full of joy, recognizing self as pure being, consciousness and bliss. Even after the truth has been realized, there remains that strong, obstinate impression that one is still an ego, the agent and experiencer. This has to be carefully removed by living in a state of constant identification with the supreme non-dual self. Full awakening is the eventual ceasing of all the mental impressions of being an ego. Knowing that I am different from the body, I need not neglect the body. It is a vehicle that I use to transact with the world. It is the temple which houses the pure self within. Loud speech, profusion of words, and possessing skillfulness in expounding scriptures are merely for the enjoyment of the learned. They do not lead to liberation. Who but the Atman is capable of removing the bonds of ignorance, passion and self-interested action? Do not look at anybody in terms of friend or foe, brother or cousin, do not fritter away your mental energies in thoughts of friendship or enmity. Seeking the self everywhere, be amiable and equal-minded towards all, treating all alike. As gold purified in a furnace loses its impurities and achieves its own true nature, the mind gets rid of the impurities of the attributes of delusion, attachment and purity through meditation and attains reality. Curb your senses and your mind and see the Lord within your heart. Thus one should know oneself to be of the nature of existence consciousness bliss, what is inquiry into the truth? It is the firm conviction that the self is real, and all, other than that, is unreal. The witness of the three states of consciousness, waking, dream and deep sleep, and of the nature of existence consciousness bliss is the self. But the jiva, living being, is endowed with ego and his knowledge is limited, whereas Ishwar is without ego and is omniscient. The treasure I have found cannot be described in words, the mind cannot conceive of it. Give up identification with this mass of flesh as well as with what thinks it a mass. Both are intellectual imaginations. Recognize your true self as undifferentiated awareness, unaffected by time, past, present or future, and enter peace. There is sorrow in finitude. The self is beyond time, space and objects. It is infinite and hence of the nature of absolute happiness. Realizing everything to be Brahman itself, the wise man should then dwell in eternal bliss with his mind full of the essence of pure consciousness.